What's going on guys, this is Goofy Oop the Ball, bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 video where we're going to look at the difference between the Concussion Grenade and the Flash Grenade, which are the two main tactical grenades in Black Ops 3. And if you guys have seen my Frag Grenade versus Semtex video, this video is going to be very similar to that, look at the pretty much the same criteria as that. And if you guys haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out, it's definitely a great video, learn some pretty interesting stuff about both of those grenades. So like I said, the criteria is going to be about the same as that video, it's going to be the time it takes to throw the grenade, like get it out of your hand, the time it takes to pull your gun back up after throwing it, the explosive range, and how far you can actually throw these grenades. And then afterwards we'll talk about some of the other sort of differences between these grenades that don't really fall into these categories. So jumping right into the explosive radius, what I did here is I threw the grenade in the corner here and had someone stand along the wall and sort of back up various distances and see how far back I could have them back up and have the grenade explode and still hit them. And as we can see here, the flash grenade does have an advantage over the concussion grenade here because it has a much larger hit radius. One other thing to note with this hit radius is this is not the radius at which you're going to get the full effect of the concussion of the flash grenade. This is just the range where you will be hit by it. And as you move closer and closer to it when it explodes, you'll get more of an effect. So you'll stay concussed for longer, or with the flashbang, you'll stay flashed for longer. So moving on to the throw times for these grenades, I take a frame by frame look here about how long it takes when, from when you press the button to when the grenade finally leaves your hand. And for the concussion grenade here, it's about 0 0.68, 0 0.69 seconds, and for the flashbang, it's about 0.63 seconds. So again, the flashbang does have a slight advantage here as well. And for the time it takes to get your gun back up after you throw them, what I did here is I took a slow motion look at both of these grenades, and once you press the button, how long it takes exactly to get your gun back up. And for both of them, it was about 1.27 seconds. So pretty much the same there, no real advantage for either of the grenades. And moving on to the final category is throw distance, so I had the player stand in the same spot both times and sort of aim at the same area in the map and throw both grenades and see how far they would both go. And it turns out the concussion grenade would actually go a little bit farther than the flash grenade, not much farther, but a decent amount. So that's worth noting there, the concussion has an advantage in terms of throw distance. So now that we have those tested criteria aside, let's look at the differences between the two grenades in sort of things that don't fall into those categories. So obviously for the concussion grenade, when you get hit by it, you can't really like move around, you can't sort of aim on your screen, you're pretty much stuck looking that way. You don't get completely blinded, but just a little bit and your screen kind of shakes. And there's really, it's really pretty hard to escape. I mean, when you get hit by one of these things, you're pretty much a sitting duck. And I mean, the two ways you can get out of it are wall running, and boosting and if you want some more information on that I have an annotation here to one of my other videos where I have talked about this earlier and as for the flash grenade when you get hit by it your screen goes completely white you can't see anything you have pretty much no idea where you are uh, while you can move around and probably go prone and stuff and try to hide but those are the sort of main you know technical uses between the two so here's where things start to get weird the explosive times for both of these grenades is a little interesting. So for the flash grenade, pretty simple. It's about 1.8-ish seconds, give or take. But with the concussion grenade, it's not a time-based thing. It's actually just when it hits the ground. So, I mean, you can just huck this thing straight up in the air, and it'll take, you know, four, five, six seconds before it hits the ground, and it'll only explode once it hits the ground. So you can use it like that, you know, throw it way up in the air, and sort of prepare for where it's going to land and shoot at people that get hit by it. Or if you get in a tight situation, you can just chuck it at the ground and have it blow up instantly. And the other weird thing about the concussion grenade is that occasionally it'll throw duds. I mean, you'll throw it and someone will be well within the hit radius of it, and it'll go off and nothing will happen. And I don't know how this was happening. I tried it a bunch of different times and still managed to get the same thing happening, you know, every few throws. And so that's definitely something worth mentioning when you're thinking about using this grenade. If... You know, every four or five throws you throw one of these things and for whatever reason it just doesn't stun enemies, maybe that's not worth using then if it's that inconsistent. But that pretty much sums up what I got for this video, just looking at the difference between the concussion and the flash grenades in this game, the two main tactical grenades that you can really compare. So I hope you guys learned something interesting and something new in this video and this will help you decide between the concussion and flash when you're trying to play these games, trying to play public matches, or trying to play some competitive matches. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, 
I'd love it if you could hit that like button to help support this video and help support my channel. And subscribe if you're new around here for more Black Ops 3 tips and tricks videos and Black Ops 3 informational videos. This has been Goofy Goop Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.